All right. Hi, everybody. Today in this classic biology experiment, we're going to use a calorimeter to determine the number of calories that are in a sunflower seed versus a marshmallow in this case. And this type of device called a calorimeter um, you can buy and they use in food industries all the time. So if you look on the back of labels of things, for example, you can see the nutrition guide as to what kind of things are in something you're eating, including the number of calories and the number of servings. Um, and the way they do this is by using this device called a calorimeter, which essentially burns up the food and it measures how much energy is released when you burn the food, because it turns out that a calorie is based on how much energy is required to heat up a known amount of water. For just a couple of dollars, we can make this very similar apparatus that is maybe 80% is accurate or something like that. So what we're going to do, going to carefully place two sunflower seeds on top of that pin, and then we're going to weigh that whole object. We're going to weigh the cork and the pin and the sunflower seed. And then we're going to do the same thing with a marshmallow. We're going to take a marshmallow, put it on top of the pin, and then we're going to weigh that. So we have the weight of both the sunflower seed and the marshmallow with the cork and the pin. And now what we're going to do is we're going to get two test tubes with 20 milliliters of water. So then what you're going to do is you're going to take your rubber stopper that has a thermometer inserted through it, and you're going to put that on top of your test tube. And then you're going to place that test tube inside the can, um, the metal can that you have at your desk. What we're going to do first, we'll start with the sunflower seeds and I'm going to take a match, light it, and light the sunflower seeds on fire so they're burning. And then I put the can over the top and then I wait. And what we're looking for is we're measuring how high our temperature goes. So as we burn the food, you can see the flame burning that sucker right there and it's going and it's burning some of the calories that are inside the sunflower seed. And as it does that, it releases some of the energy and we lose some of the energy escapes as heat, but at least a good amount of that energy we hope goes to raising that temperature of the water. And so by the end of this experiment, we now have how high the temperature went. So we had our starting temperature and we have our temperature at the end of the experiment. Now what we do is we go weigh the sunflower seed and see if it weighs less because um, we burned some of it. And the difference between what we started with and what we ended with is how much we actually burnt. Okay, so we repeat the experiment using the marshmallow. What you're going to do now is you take your marshmallow that's on your pin and you set up your calorimeter, light your marshmallow on fire, get it burning, and then put the can on top and you do the same thing. You record how high the temperature goes at the end of the experiment. Then what you're going to do is once again, after it's all cooled off, you're going to take the can off. You're going to go take your marshmallow and you're going to weigh it. And that difference then represents how much you burned of that marshmallow. All right. Now to calculate calories, we just have to do a little bit of math. So while I won't do the math for you, I'll just give you a hint and tell you that I ended up with under two kcals per gram for sunflower seeds and under one kcal gram for marshmallows, which means my device is probably somewhere here around maybe 30% or 40% accurate. So now you try to do your own calculations and see what you get and put your answers down in the comments below.